Yo, what's going on guys, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be learning multi-dimensional arrays. Now, arrays can have multiple dimensions or the number of indices. For example, imagine a ticketing program um, that is storing seat numbers in a stadium, which uh, have a row and a column number, or a chessboard, which each square has two coordinates, a letter and a number. These, uh, the arrays in these examples have two dimension, two dimensions. So, seats at a movie theater, they have both um, rows and columns. So that's what makes them multi-dimensional arrays. Now, to create a multi-dimensional arrays, uh, place each array within its own set of square brackets. So you have the, first you have the the data type, you have the two square brackets, and then the name of the array. And then notice here, you have a you have two brackets that contain the entire array, and then you have a subset of numbers of the contents in the array um, that are also inside there. To access an element in the two-dimensional array, provide two indexes, one for the array and another for the element inside that array. The following example access, assesses the first element in the second array of the sample. So here, this would, um, let's click to see what this would do. Oh, this would just return a four because um the first one is the row, right? So let me rewrite this up better. I usually write it like this to make it more visibly like visually um clear on what it's gonna be. So the first row stands for the row. The first number stands for the row, so that's zero, one. And then zero is the first element, so that's why I return the four. All right, and then fill in the blanks to create a two-dimensional array. Then I'll put the second number of the the second item of the third row. All right, so first make sure that you have two brackets. At each side and then we need to put the second item of the third row so over here you need to put the third row would be the second index and then for the second item that would be the for one okay so the arrays two indexes are called the row index and the column index. Here's you can visualize it. So like I was saying before, this is a better way to visualize it so you know what, what row, like this actually looks like seats in a the theater, for example. And then each row is an item which is an array. So to access the value, we need to provide the row index and then the column index. So you always provide the row con the row index and then the column index and then what is the output of this code so so the row is zero meaning it's the first row and then we have two so zero one two it should print out eight yep all right to loop over a two-dimensional array is we need nested for loops so nested for loops um this is gonna be a little more complex but i'm gonna try and do my best to break it down for you guys uh so basically the first uh for loop is what is what um the most outer for loop is the rows okay so this determines how much the entire uh, program runs how many loops now the inner one determines how many uh, of it runs in the inside so for example if you had a if you had this array so you have two rows and you have three columns right 
So what this would mean is this would run two times. The inside one would run three times, essentially. And we can click to see what it prints out if you guys want to. It's going to print out the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. And yeah. Okay, so let's fill in the blanks to create a nested for loop uh, that iterates over a two-dimensional array called R and calculates the sum of all items. All right. So first we have dots. You always want to call the dot length um, function for this. Uh, I don't believe you need parentheses for arrays. Um, and then you can call the, let's see. Hmm. So right here, you need to call the name of the array. So it is R then the name of the array again, and then Y right here. So let's see if this works, and yep. All right, so the lesson takeaways for today are going to be the number of square brackets match the dimension of the array. For example, uh, two boxes, two of these brackets uh, clumped together denotes a two-dimensional array. To access the items of the array specifically, Specify the row index and the first square brackets, followed by the column index and the second. Okay, so in the next video, we'll be doing uh, this practice problem called movie theater. Uh, so until then, have a great day. Uh, make sure to subscribe because I know a lot of you guys find the videos helpful. Uh, so if you're going to show some love and support, Subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.